Residents of northeastern Japan are hearing of new challenges a year and a half after the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. Workers at the nuclear plant are struggling with recurrent problems as they try to decommission the reactors. The reactors have been brought to a state of cold shutdown. The second phase of the plan to bring them under control has been completed. Experts say the temperature and pressure inside the reactors are generally stable. But troubles with the cooling water system have plagued workers. They built a system after the disaster to treat highly contaminated water and then used it to cool the reactors. The operator Tokyo Electric Power Company has reported 56 instances of tainted water leaks. Facilities to decontaminate water have stopped 12 times because of those leaks and because of problems with the power supply. Late last month, coolant water in three reactors temporarily fell below the necessary levels. Workers have also had troubles with facilities and equipment that were in use before the accident. Only 16 of the 41 thermometers in reactor number 2 are working properly. High radiation levels have prevented workers from replacing those that aren't working. Contaminated water levels have continued to rise at a pace of about 400 tons a day, and groundwater is flowing into the reactor buildings. That has filled almost 90% of the plant's storage tanks. The workers plan to add tanks with a total capacity of 470,000 tons to store the water for three years. National and local government officials are also struggling to clean up radioactive contamination. The central government is responsible for decontaminating the evacuation zone around the plant in 11 municipalities in Fukushima Prefecture. But the cleanup has been slow to start. Only Tamura City has begun the process. The government has taken time to classify the zone according to levels of contamination. The government is subsidizing the cleanup in 104 municipalities outside the zone. Some local governments have begun preliminary surveys. But the disaster damaged roofs and walls in many houses. Some residents are demanding that their homes be repaired before decontamination. Government officials have refused slowing down the cleanup. 25 municipalities have yet to even draw up decontamination plans. They can't decide on the areas or on how to remove radioactive substances. Many Japanese can't believe it's been that long since that moment. A magnitude 9 earthquake struck the northeast 18 months ago. That triggered tsunami and a triple meltdown at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Nearly 20,000 people were left dead or missing. Workers at the plant have been struggling ever since to bring it under control. There's a long way to go. Decommissioning the plant will take about 40 years. Their biggest challenge is how to remove spent fuel rods from reactor pools. Their work is hampered by dangerously high radiation inside the reactors. The operator aims to start extracting melted uranium fuel from reactors 1, 2 and 3 within 10 years. But first, employees of Tokyo Electric Power Company have to locate cracks in the containment vessels to fill the vessels with water and cool down the fuel. They're using endoscopes and robots to do the job. A hydrogen explosion severely damaged Reactor 4. That left it fragile and possibly unstable. Workers have been performing tests in order to remove the rods in December next year. But debris is still scattered in the pool, and that could slow down the operation. TEPCO managers have had a tough time attracting workers. They say they'll run out of help in five years unless they can find a way to reduce workers' exposure to radiation. Commercial fishing in the Tohoku region has been extended on an experimental basis 18 months after the nuclear accident. But restarting full-scale fishing of Fukushima may take some time because high levels of radiation have been detected in fish caught in other prefectures. Following last year's nuclear accident in Fukushima, a fishing ban was imposed for safety reasons. But in June, commercial fishing was restarted on an experimental basis. On Monday, almost 18 months after the nuclear accident, fishery cooperatives in the Tohoku region began fishing 10 types of marine resources, including crab and squid. They intend to sell the produce if tests show no contamination. But a cod caught in Aomori Prefecture early in August had 132.7 becquerels of radioactive cesium per kilogram. 
That's 1.3 times the government safety limit. Radiation 380 times the limit was detected in a rock trout caught off Fukushima in early August. Black sea bream caught off Miyagi Prefecture in July registered 33 times over the limit. Only low levels of radioactive cesium have been detected in seawater in the area. Experts suggest that cesium has accumulated on the seabed and is now being transferred to some kinds of fish that eat sandworms. A marine science professor at Tokyo University says the cause of the contamination should be studied according to the fish species to get an idea of the spread of the contamination.